Several pharmaceutical companies are currently developing drugs that target Alzheimer's disease. Developing a new drug takes years, and until now, no therapeutic agent has been able to thwart the development of the disease. But there's hope. Two leading drugs are currently undergoing stage three clinical trials. This is the last step prior to commercialization. One of them is an antibody that targets beta amyloid proteins before they form plaques. It is called aducanumab. This antibody was first identified in the blood of elderly donors with normal cognitive function. And scientists hypothesized that this antibody protected them from developing the disease. Biogen, the pharmaceutical company behind these trials, published results from its stage one clinical trial last September in an article published in Nature. Two stage three clinical trials involving this drug have been underway since 2015. They involve 2,700 patients. According to Biogen, preliminary results from these studies will be released at the beginning of 2020. The studies will be completed by 2022. That said, we may have news about a different Alzheimer's treatment before long. This drug is called Verubesistat. It is also undergoing two phase three clinical trials, one of which is expected to end in 2017. Verubesistat is a base one inhibitor. By blocking the activity of this protein, the drug prevents the production of amyloid beta proteins. The amyloid beta proteins are among the leading suspects when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. They form plaques in the brains of Alzheimer's patients and are thought to trigger the disease, although this hypothesis has yet to be confirmed. The drug was used in a phase one clinical trial in 2012 involving 32 patients living with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. The results of that study were recently published in Science Translational Medicine. Phase three studies will evaluate whether this biological effect translates into a slowing of the development of Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, the news is not as good for the pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly. Its drug, solanezumab, did not meet the primary endpoint in a phase three clinical trial as the company stated last November. The drug had no significant impact on the slowing of cognitive decline of patients compared to controls. It was also unable to reduce the accumulation of amyloid beta proteins in the brain. That said, there is still a lot of research going on in the field. Around 80 therapeutic agents are currently in phase two or a phase three clinical study.